showing you my everyday hairstyle, but showing different ways that I'm cocktailing two pre-stylers and a styling product for big volume and loads. I feel like I'm going very much old school Robin. If you remember the utter gutter. Hello, I'm Robin. This is like one of those videos, um, but with bigger production and better lighting. And this is really my everyday hairstyle that I always do. But I've been experimenting with products recently and um, on Instagram, on the deal DMs, I've had a few people saying, I actually have, I'm not just saying this. Um, I've said, how are you doing this? So I thought I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm actually cocktailing two pre-styling products. I'm gonna show you how a primer tonic lotion and also a sea salt spray, working that through. And then I'm using a styling product just to give big volume and loads of texture, which can be played with all day. So it means it's not gonna dry hard and you can still have loads of this movement. So watch on and I'm gonna show you how. Right, I'm gonna start with clean and towel dried hair. I would say for this, if you want loads and loads of texture, the sort of heavier, the longer the hair that you have, the more you can do with it in this. Right, I'm gonna use two pre-stylers in this, and this is what's really gonna give it that texture. First one I'm gonna use is a Bumble and Bumble Primer Tonic. This essentially is a prep which is gonna help you dry your hair, but it's also gonna wrap it and condition it. This is actually got tea tree oil in it. Um, it smells incredible. It also sort of detangles your hair and it refreshes it. So if you've got second day hair, it's totally fine just to use a bit of this and then to go on. Or if you find that after washing your hair, it feels really tuggy, this is just gonna help with that. But because I want this texture, but texture without looking crispy or too dry, I'm gonna use a sea salt spray. This one is from the sea salt spray video I did. I did like five of my favorites. This is Sasha Wan. And um, there's also a blog article which has got loads of them across all different prices and brands. If you're looking for something, that is your go-to. That will be up there. But sort of combining these two products, what you're getting is all the texture of a sea salt spray. You're smoothing it with a pre-styler tonic primer, but without it being crispy or overdone. Grab the hairdryer. It's a medium heat. It's a fast speed as always. And what I'm going to do is just really start to work my hands through. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to style it the way that it grows. And this means that during the day, it will naturally fall slightly. So it's not going to look overdone. If you are styling it against the way that it grows, you'll find that this is going to give you all day volume. This way is just more natural in the way that it sits. When you're working it through, if you kind of knead at the hair site, you're going to see that you are getting hair that is kind of absolutely everywhere, but we're going to work that out with the styling product, so don't worry too much. But you are building in that texture, and because the sea salt spray has got a slight grit to it, you're getting this huge volume. So you're going to keep on going with this just until it's starting to feel dry. Don't over dry it. Okay, right, the hair is dry, it's big, it's textured, it's uh, almost too big, <laughs> it's ready to go. Um, I should say, this is not rocket science, but this is, I think, the first video that I've ever like, cocktailed two pre-selling treatments. And this is actually something I've been doing at home, just to really kind of um, make a sort of bespoke treatment for myself. I mean, this sounds like I'm sort of changing the world here, but um, I find that it really works. You know, when there's two products you like, and when they combine perfectly, it's something that I just think, go for it. So now, I'm gonna use a cold blast of air, so I'm gonna push this cool shot button, or if you don't have that on your hairdryer, just take the temperature right down. And if you're a regular around here, hi, then you know that what this does is to seal the cuticle, which is the outer layer of the hair, what this is gonna do is gonna up the shine, so it's gonna make the hair stronger, and it also is gonna prepare it for styling. Uh, if you don't know this, and you're wondering who I am, then hi, I'm Robin, press subscribe right now, the button is just below this video. Also, make sure that bell notification button is on. I have a new series that's gonna be starting uh, hopefully actually this Sunday and I'm super excited about it. I've got loads of other guys from around the YouTube space and Instagram and all that. I'm going to be talking styles, so do not miss that. Right, cold shot, on we go. Okay, again, you can see that by styling it the way that it naturally grows, I am just getting this really great drop in the hair. Pushing it this way, against the way that it grows, has that instant volume. So if you're looking for volume, a guy with quite flat or a limp hair, 
against. But if you want that more natural look and maybe something which will drop that you can mess with, go the way that it grows. Right, next, styling product. One of my favorites at the moment, this is first hand supply clay pomade. Did a full review for it. I'm just really enjoying this product. It's got a really great finish. It's very easy to apply, very easy to style, malleable, moldable. It doesn't dry hard. So as I said, you know, I want this hair to be able to be played with, to have a bit of movement, to not look rock solid. So I'm take a dime sized onto my hand and emulsify. Emulsifying really just means to take the product from that state that was before and it should look clear. You really want to ensure you're doing this because it's going to allow you for even distribution. You're not going to bits, you're not going to bumps and it means you can start to layer a product. So here we go. And I'm just going to brush through the hair, root to tip. You can go the opposite way first, just to ensure it's coated. And then build the style in. So don't be shy to not instantly do the style you're going to go for because that's going to allow you to have full coverage of the hair. The other reason that I love doing it this way is, a little bit more product, just a touch, is that it's going to sit a lot neater. I say neater, it's going to allow for more movement on the parting. I've got a natural part on the left, whereas the right actually has to be worked in. I'm going to just quite easily part it. One hand here, one hand there, and push away. And I'm not going to worry too much about really keeping it smooth because I do want that that mess and to hold the texture. There's a little tip for you. I quite often do this, just using the heels of the, um, the hands and just pushing. I'm sure this has got a technical term, but we're gonna call it the man from self heel push branded trademark. There you go. Just really lightly with your hands, work in and kind of fluff it up. My hair is so fine that it takes to this, but if your hair is thicker, it's fuller, just take some time to pull out some strands and then to place them. And that really is it. So really quick, really easy. The sort of thing that I do absolutely every day, but just by tweaking little things in the pre-styling, just adds so much more to the hairstyle, especially with all that texture. I would say if you've sort of experimented with cocktailing different hair products, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to try them. Also, if you are looking for hair products, then you can head to manfromself.com. You guys know I've been working on this for like all year really. And all the products I've been trying out have gone up there. You're also putting your ratings and uploading your pictures. Also the best prices there. So I know that it's helping a lot of you out. So I'm very pleased to see that. But if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just up there. So some more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to the blog, it's there. I'll put your product pages right there. And um, also my social, including Instagram, come and follow, is up there. But I'll see you in my next new video, Sunday, Style Stories, brand new series. See you then. Bye-bye.